Is Ninochka a forgotten classic, or is it a bland comedy with a Russian twist? Find out today on Really Old Movies. Welcome to Really Old Movies. I'm your host, Harrison Scullin, and today I'll be discussing Ninochka from 1939, starring Greta Garbo. Some essential movie details. This movie has several writers, including future director Billy Wilder, as well as the director of this movie, Ernst Lubitsch, who Wilder tried to convince the, the Writers Guild of America to give him writing credit, to give Lubitsch writing credit, but it was turned down due to the fact that he was also the director. And so now we'll get into the basic plot. A group of Russian men are sent to Paris to get some jewels they believe belong to the people in Moscow, not to the Grand Duchess who they really belong to. After failing to retrieve them, Ninochka is sent, Ninochka, played by Greta Garbo, is sent to get those jewels. She meets Count Leon, who falls madly in love with her, without realizing she is the one who's trying to sell the jewels. When he finds out, she runs away, but he doesn't care that she's a Russian or that she's trying to sell the jewels. So because of this, they meet up again and both start to be romantic with each other. After a while, she starts to realize that capitalism is a good thing and not something she should fight against. But after much convincing from the Duchess herself, she decides to go through with the deal and return back to Russia. And when she does so, she goes back to her small apartment where she's depressed, thinking about dancing with Leon. And she receives a love note from Leon, but it's completely censored out with black ink, so she can't read it at all. So she's very sad about that. And then her boss, played by Bela Lugosi, calls her in to go to Constantinople because once again, these three Russian men are missing are missing, and they've been messing up a deal that they're trying to make in that country. So when she arrives to Constantinople, she discovers that the reason why is because these men have started a restaurant and have zero plan to return to Russia. She finds Leon there and they decide to stay together, also renouncing her connection to Russia and deciding to be with Leon. And that's where the film ends. All right, so now we'll get into my thoughts on the movie. The plot, I gave it a two out of five. I thought it was terrible. <laughs> I really didn't like the storyline at all. I thought the concept, the idea of it was interesting. I've seen it done a couple times in modern days, but I thought the execution was really bad. I didn't like how easily they fall in love with each other. It was way too quick, way too easy. And I also don't like the Duchess herself. I think she's a very annoying character. And the fact that she's kind of the center of it, kind of the heart of the reason of this movie, I did not like that at all. So yeah, that's why I gave the plot a 2 out of 5. In regards to acting, I gave it a 3 out of 5. I thought it was okay. Greta Garbo is believable as a straight-shooting Russian. I haven't seen her in any other movies, so this is my first time seeing her. Um, so I thought she was good. Now, Melvin Douglas, who plays Leon, he's super annoying. I did not like him at all. He was way too lovey-dovey and gushing all over her. It was very annoying and very frustrating. I actually like the scenes more with him just alone interacting with people, like when he's trying to get into Russia with a visa. That part was pretty funny. Um, I wish there was more of that. He he's When they're together, it's just so lovey-dovey, so over the top I, I couldn't handle it it was it was pretty frustrating so in regards to directing i gave it a two out of five i thought it was awful i just hated the plot and honestly i believe the reason why is because there were too many writers i think there were like five or six in total that wrote this movie and you can tell too many cooks in the kitchen you know um i think ernst should have stick should have stuck with just the directing and have wilder write it billy wilder he wasn't a very famous person yet, so I, I kind of wish he just wrote it and not have all these people writing it because it, it just it did not flow well, did not work well. The comedy was fine. I like those parts of it, but I didn't like the rest. It was very all over the place, especially because we'd have some very serious scene and then comedy, then serious scene, then comedy. And I, I just I just couldn't stand it. I didn't like it very much. All right, in regards to cinematography special effects, I gave it a three out of five, thought it was okay. I thought the visual effects for the Eiffel Tower were pretty good. 
Obviously, this was made in Hollywood. This was not made overseas or anything like that, which makes sense. I mean, most movies were back then. They were made in a studio. So the rest of it is just your standard kind of fixed position where each scene is just set up like a, like a stage play. You know, characters go in and go out, that sort of thing. They're in the one, one scenario, which is fine. I don't mind that. So that's why I gave three out of five. Just standard. All right, in regards to the music, I gave it a three out of five. Thought it was average. Nothing to write home about. I think it was just okay. Um, yeah, that's about it. So tallying that all up, that brings my letterbox score to a 2.6 out of five, which I'm rounding to a three out of five. It's a very low three out of five. Um, would I recommend it? I'll be honest, no. I thought it was way too sappy and a very messy storyline. Like I said, it was serious at some moments and then really slapstick in others. Did not fit together at all. It couldn't decide if it wanted to be a comedy or a melodrama. It was just all over the place. I think the historical context was interesting. That may be enough to watch it. I don't know. You know, the fact of how terrible it was for people living in Russia. But at that time but other than that I, I thought the romance itself ruined it i i think that was the low point of the movie that's kind of the whole point is this romance and i just did not like it like i said they fell out they fall in love way too fast there's no real setup to it i just did not like it all right well those are my thoughts on ninochka from 1939 thank you so much for listening to today's episode make sure to subscribe to our instagram and facebook at really old movies where I discuss details about the week's particular film. New podcast episodes are released Saturdays at 8 p.m. Pacific Standard Time on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, and Amazon Music. All right, thank you so much. This has been Really Old Movies. I'm your host, Harrison Scullin. Take care. 